Hello everyone, today we're back plowing snow. It's a frigid morning here in Elm Creek, guys. I am freezing, it's only five degrees out, and it is pretty windy, but once again, guys, we got another snowstorm. I think it's this time around five to six inches here. It's a little bit on the smaller side uh, compared to some of the other storms here, but hopefully, guys, spring is right around the corner here. So much snow, and although we're making a lot of money, I do look forward to all uh, the cool landscaping and lawn care jobs here, but today, we are gonna be using Using a new plow truck. This is new to us. It's a 2006 Chevy 3500 Duramax here dump truck. And you guys can actually see we have a salter here in the back with a fisher wide out. Now one thing guys, I and I actually need to go get some more salt here. Maybe we'll do that in the video. Maybe I won't here, but I just got a cup of coffee. Uh, that definitely warms uh, me up quite a bit here. And I topped off on diesel. So let's get back to plowing. The older Duramax here takes a little bit to get fired on up here, no problem. We'll get the beacon lights and our hazard lights going here, but our actually next property we have to snow plow it is actually just right in front of us here. It's actually the small diner coffee shop, and guys, I'm just excited to be back here pushing snow now. I am doing a little bit extra snow plowing videos, uh, and then once the seasons change, you guys won't be seeing too, too many of uh, these types of videos. All right, let's get going here. I just had to find a place to put my cup of coffee down here, having my phone and uh, the cup of coffee definitely uh, needed a different place here instead of the cup holder here. But with a big dump truck like this, guys, it's actually pretty maneuverable having that shorter wheelbase here. But the visibility, especially backing up, is a little bit tricky here. But I hope everyone has been having a pretty good day so far. Now this Duramax, guys, does have a little bit of a tune here to give us that little bit of extra horsepower we need uh, for hauling uh, materials and that extra torque for snow plowing, and it has definitely really improved here. Now I did end up buying this truck used, and it's been a pretty good purchase so far. Let's get this side plowed and we'll get on to the next one here. Now I actually do a lot of commercial driveways. That is where all the profit is because we could also put down some salt and uh, we also do kind of the year round service for them and uh, we just get to charge a little bit more cents. Uh, they do have a little bit of a higher priority here but one thing guys, when it snows, you guys can see the roads get pretty quiet here. I haven't really seen too many cars on the road. I think school got canceled. I mean the kids must be enjoying the snow days here. I remember when I was uh, younger, I always enjoyed uh, receiving the phone call that there was uh, no school here, but on to next one now. Before our next commercial, guys, we'll do a driveway on the way here. I actually have a very close route. Uh, we actually don't have to drive far to almost plow all of ours here, which is uh, really good for us. That means our blade is pushing snow and we aren't just driving around. Hopefully, uh-oh, we're scraping along the fence there, it almost look like. Hopefully we didn't end up uh, putting any scrapes in and damaging anything because if we do end up having a run in with a fence or something like that, all our profits for the day definitely would be uh, uh, cut pretty low. And it looks like this store is open here. There's a few cars in the parking lot. It's going to make it a little tricky here for us, but we should still be able to manage it. And uh, the wide out, guys, I think is probably uh, going to be my go-to plow. If I cannot get a V plow, I think I'm going to go with this uh, wide out here. It's just so easy. You could fold it to get into smaller driveways, and you could uh, unfold it, uh, get an extra few feet, and also uh, you could do go into scoop mode as well, which is perfect for those big parking lots here. You definitely want something where you can make money in all different areas, and this plow does that for us here, but you guys can see uh, the traction of the Duramax having a little bit of a heavier dump bed over just a, a regular uh, pickup body. Definitely is helping us with the traction, and having salt is also good, but I need to go get some salt.
Well guys, we're just about done here. I'll come back around uh, for my salt run and I'll put down the salt there. That way it's a little bit easier than the switching between snow plowing and the salter. And it just makes it a little bit quicker even though we do have to come on back here. But I will say guys, the Fisher does an unbelievable job here. But now that we're getting on the road, we actually have to drive probably to the other side of town now. So we'll put those blades in to make it a little bit easier here for us. But snow plowing guys, you're up probably 12, 15 hours and if you have so many more properties so many more driveways you might be even pulling overnighter we do have this commercial lot to do but really quickly I'm gonna do these few residential driveways that I also do here I like to have them like I mentioned close together if not right across the street from each other here definitely uh, just makes it so we could plow an extra driveway or two and uh, especially with a small route like this it, there's a lot less driving across town and things like that here but guys I am trying to look for some new maps to uh, snow plow on I have noticed that the uh, seasons does not exactly work on all the maps and that's why you guys see me doing a lot here on Elm Creek here but hopefully we could get some more here in the game this is just quick easy kind of one big loop around it makes it easy for us here as well really do like these types of driveways here just look at how nice and quick and easy and then it will just kind of push the snow there perfect and it looks like the town plows in the county has not come by yet as well so hopefully they come by soon that way people could get out and about on the roads once again but let's get going here I do want to put the wings out and uh, let's see how fast we could get this one cleared Having a car right in the center of the lot makes it a little tr bit trickier here for us. A little bit more time. Well, that's what we're going to have to work with here. Sometimes there's even more cars in this and it makes it even trickier here. So we just have to take it as is and just get the job done still here. So you guys can see we got all that plowed. We just have in front here. Now what I'm thinking here is let's see if I could put the uh, blades in scoop. And let's see if we could just kind of scoop all this snow here. It's going to be a little bit easier here for us if we could do that as well. That way we don't end up uh, dropping too much snow on either side here. But this place, guys, needs a little bit of salt. I'm slipping and sliding. But luckily, guys, hopefully uh, this does not end up happening. But I actually have not uh, slid off the road or gotten stuck in a driveway, anything like that. And it almost happens like once or twice every single winter. So I've done pretty good so far. But guys, I think I'm probably going to put down the camera here and continue uh, in the, so I could go home and get some sleep here. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.